I, 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 I stood up, 51 year old man last year in front of, I know it was seven, eight hundred, a thousand teenage boys and said, I'm 51 years old and I've not slept with anyone, animal, vegetable or mineral, and I'm okay. I've survived. And they all clapped and cheered. Now, that we need to say there's a tyranny. Uh, there's a tyranny in this world that bombards us from the magazines, the TV, the films, which is you're less than a human being if you're not sleeping with someone. And that defines you. And that's not what defines a follower of Jesus. And actually the best way and to make marriage work is to embrace the gift of celibacy until the gift of marriage. So it's to embrace the gift of celibacy in a positive way. And one of the things I say is, I am single, and sometimes that's tough. Sometimes it will be wonderful to go home and to have someone, if it's been a good day or a bad day, to tell it to. But actually, I chose to make the most of... Um, of the life God's given me. And in September, I'm going to be best man at my 19th wedding. Now, there's not many people that, that can do that. I've been father of the bride once. Um, uh, I'm godfather to loads of their kids, my friend's kids. I've got deep and satisfying and wonderful friendships and relationships with, with, with couples in their 70s, with with young men and women, with middle-aged people, with, with all sorts all over the world. And I can give myself to those relationships in a way that I might not be able to if I was married. So it's kind of saying there's, there's a positive to this. There really is. And the truth is, not everybody who's married is free of loneliness, is totally always happy. Marriage is hard work as well.